And joining me this morning is Jody Whitaker. Jody, your organization has the proof for those signatures. Yes, we do. The public is very well aware that the horse carriage operators are not regulated. They do not regulate themselves. They break the law on a regular basis, overwork horses on a re regular basis, not provide water, work them when it's too hot, and so forth. And so this ordinance was brought together by Alderman Brian Hopkins, who is an alderman of, on the north side, second ward. How has all this process kind of been laying out for you guys? Uh, well, we have been uh, ignored. Our agenda, uh, our bill has been uh, pulled off the agenda that was on in September. We asked the mayor to put it on the agenda for uh, today, and it's not on the agenda. We have one month left to get this bill heard, this common sense measure heard and voted on before their licenses are renewed for another full year and horses are overworked for another full year. And so there are a total of 50 aldermen. How many are co-sponsoring? How many have shown support for this? We have 26 official co-sponsors. We have 32 have told us they support this humane measure. So we definitely have the majority of the license committee, the majority of city council, and the majority of the public wants this measure passed and horses off the street. And last question, Jody. Um, how do you feel about those who think that horse carriages bring tourism to Chicago? I don't believe anybody's buying a flight to Chicago to take a horse carriage ride. They're coming for many issues, the, the, our lakefront, our restaurants, our music. They're not coming to take a horse carriage ride. And this is an issue that we should ban before someone gets seriously injured in Chicago or worse. Chicago Alliance for Animals recently dropped off 20,000 signatures and evidence here at the mayor's office. And now it turns out that that potential ban of horse carriages is not going to be on the license committee agenda today. Jody, you actually reached out to the mayor's office. Yes, we did. We, uh, we reached out with 20,000 signatures and more than 200 business endorsements last Wednesday. We wrote to uh, the person we spoke with, and we're just getting lip service right now. And so... What is, the, what is the biggest thing that you would like to get out of today? Because you're going to that meeting today. Right. Well, a year ago, this bill was denied a vote after a four and a half hour hearing. So we have gone another year. We've proven that the horses continually are overworked, not provided water, worked when it's too hot. So we deserve a, a reason why this bill was pulled, why the mayor's office pulled it off the agenda in September, and why it's not on today's agenda. And so you were just telling me that this weekend you went out and you looked to see if there were any kind of uh, laws being broken. What did you find out this weekend? Uh, last Sunday we documented two horses being overworked. One was worked at least nine hours, if not longer, and uh, we witnessed hardly any horses drinking water. So. Um, Again, Business Affairs and Consumer Protection Agency that's supposed to enforce the law was not there to monitor, and we did. Uh, we also documented two horses being overworked in August, and horses worked when it was too hot in July. And so ideally we would want this issue to be reviewed before November, which is when those licenses are set to renew. Do you feel like you have enough support? We definitely have the support. We have 26 co-sponsors. 32 aldermen have told us they support the humane measure. So it's just a matter of getting it on November's agenda to be heard and allowed to go to a vote. Absolutely. Jody. thank you so much for joining us. It's It's been um, an issue that we've been talking about that you guys have been actually investigating for about three years now. Yes. So we're going to be um, on top of this story and see what happens after today's meeting to see if this organization can actually talk to city officials and city leaders to see what is the holdup, what is going on there. But for now, I'm live downtown this morning. Diana Gutierrez, The Jam.